Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for uh, clicking on our video. Uh, today we're gonna be doing our month end check-in. So what we'll be doing is we're gonna go through all of our um, sinking fund envelopes and we're gonna go through and count and see how much we've been able to save um, from the end of May. So these are the end of May, beginning of June totals here. And we'll see how much we have now that it's the end of June slash beginning of July. All right. So, and I also want to do my BCL shout outs this week. Um, so these are actually the shout outs from last week, but I didn't get to film um, any videos last week. So I want to make sure that I still was able to get on here and um, share with you guys the shout outs for last week. So I'll do those. Um, I'll do one today and then hopefully I'll do one tomorrow and then at towards the end of the week I'll be able to do the shout outs for this week and catch back up so I've been really far behind um we were on vacation last week my husband was off work uh, so we were just doing a lot of stuff with our kids and we weren't home a whole lot so that's kind of put me behind so <laughs> if I normally watch your videos and I haven't gotten around to watching them I'm working on it um, just we were enjoying some time together as a family and so hopefully this week we'll get back on track. All right, so I want to start out with our BCL shout outs and that is put together by Budgeting April. So if you guys haven't checked out her channel yet, um, definitely go over and check out her channel. Um, she is trying to get to a thousand subscribers right now. She's really, really close. She has like 950 something, I believe. Um, so go over and check out her channel if you haven't subscribed to her. Um, definitely go over and help her out. I would love to see her get to a thousand subscribers. She just puts so much time and energy into this community. And I would love to see her hit that thousand subscribers so she can get monetized. Um, for some of you that don't have channels, maybe you might not know that. But um, as far as YouTube monetization... As far as like making any kind of money off YouTube, you don't make any money off YouTube unless you have at least a thousand subscribers. Um, so just kind of throwing that out there in case you guys were wondering about that. Um, you have to have a thousand subscribers to get monetized. So if you guys can go over and help out April, that would be awesome. So the other shout outs this week are uh, Donna Jo. So I've been following her channel for a couple months. Um, she does savings challenges. She does budgets with me. Her husband, I think his name is Mario, um, but he comes on her channel sometimes. He does the like scratch off challenges. Um, so that's a lot of fun to watch. Um, she does meal plans. She has um, a really, really good channel. Um, her meal plans that she shares each week has really kind of motivated me to get back on board with meal planning for the week. Um, so that's kind of like a downfall for me is like <laughs> planning like our dinners and stuff like that. Um, sometimes I'm just like, oh, forget it. Let's just go out to eat. Um, but she's really motivated me to kind of get back on track with that. Um, so check out her channel. The next one is Vanilla Budgets. That is Mia. Um, she is one of my favorite YouTubers. She's kind of like my budget bestie, I guess you could say. Um, but I always watch her videos. She always comes over. She watches my videos. We talk back and forth. Um, so I love her channel. So if you haven't checked her out, go check out Mia. Um, but she is a mom of three. She's expecting her fourth girl. And I believe she said that her baby's due like July the 8th, maybe something like that. So she's getting really, really close. Um, but she does cash stuffing. She does savings challenges. And I have followed her since she started on YouTube. I was one of her like first like 10 subscribers or something like that. Um, so I have followed her the whole time that she's been doing YouTube. So definitely go check out Mia's channel. That's Vanilla Budgets. And the next shout out is um, Saving Your Pennies After Budgeting. So she is a new channel to me this week, or well, last week actually. But I've watched a few of her videos um, when I had time this past week. I've been watching some of her videos. Um, she has some really great content from what I've seen. She does cash stuffing. She does savings challenges. Um, she does monthly check-ins. And she does the 
like the planner setups. I know a lot of you guys love watching those. Um, so definitely go over and check out her channel. Her name is Sam. Um, so go check out her channel, Saving Your Pennies After Budgeting. And then the next one is Happy Me on a Budget. Now, um, I've been following her for just a couple of weeks, um, but she is in the UK. So I know a lot of you guys enjoy watching uh, videos from people in other countries. I know I enjoy that um, because it's fun to see how they budget versus how we budget here in the US. Um, so if you haven't checked her out, go check her out. Um, but she does cash stuffings, um, she does savings challenges, um, so she has some really great content as well. So I will put a link in the description box down below um, to all these channels so you guys can go over and check them out. Okay, so we'll go ahead and we'll get started here. So what I have here is um, what we had at the beginning of the month. I'll add in what we have at the end of the month. And um, so our total at the beginning of the month for all of our sinking funds was 3,694. Three and we'll see what we have here. Okay, so the first one is, these are our envelopes that are fully funded. Um, so first up is medical. So it had, at the beginning of the month, it had 527. And I went through and I put a paper clip on some of these that had large amounts on them just so it'll be easier to count. So there's 500, 25, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. So 530. So we did go up $3 there. And usually my um, end of the month is, um, you know, at least a few hundred higher than the beginning. I'm not sure if that'll work out this time just because I didn't stuff, um, there was one week I didn't stuff our sinking funds and then um, we were on vacation and we spent some, so we'll see how it goes this time. So next up is home, that is home repairs. So we had 520 at the beginning of the month. Now we have 520, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. So 529. So that one went up by $9. Okay, next up is car, that is car maintenance. And at the beginning of the month, we had 514. And let's see, now we have 500, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So 519. So that one went up $5. And I don't put a whole lot in these. I just play um, usually the game night on Friday. Um, and I put a few doors few dollars towards these just to kind of keep them growing at least a little bit um, but I'm not real concerned since they are fully funded next up is our oil envelope this is our heating oil and at the beginning of the month we had 500 and I didn't put a paper clip on this one I ran out of paper clips so I just did a few of them so we'll see 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 20, 40, 60, 80, 500, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 505. And on this one, I am probably going to pull it out in August and um, start stuffing it a little more aggressively just because I don't know how much our oil will cost when we have to buy it, um, just with the rising prices of everything. Okay, so next up is holidays. And this one has 100, because that is fully funded. This is all of our holidays besides um, Christmas. So if I end up spending this, then I'll just pull it back out and put it back in my high priorities, and then just fully fund it again for the next holiday. Um, so 100 and one, two, three. So 103, and at the beginning we had 65. So that one went up quite a bit. Okay, so. All right, so that is it for our fully funded envelopes. So next up, I'll pull out my high priority binder. Okay, so let's move this out of the way. 
Um, let me make sure you guys can see that. Hopefully that's good. Okay, next up is our dog envelope. And this is just for like if he has to go to the vet or um, anything like that. We usually buy his food out of just like our weekly spending money. So um, at the beginning of the month, there was 200. And now we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 45. So 245 there. So that one went up by 45. And our goal for that one is 500. So next up is our eating out envelope. Um, at the beginning of the month, we had 10 and now we have zero. So that one went down. Um, outings, that is when we go out with our kids, it had 20 and it now has zero, which I had built those up. I think there was about 40 in the eating out, um, but we have spent it just on our vacation. We've eaten out a little bit more. We've done um, a little more with our kids. So that is uh, why that one went down. Okay, next up is gifts. So at the beginning of the month, we had 39, and now we have 20, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. So 54 in that one. So that one went up, um, what, 15? So next up is taxes. And at the beginning, we had 250 in there. And our goal for this one is 400. So we've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80. So 280 there. So that one went up by about $30. So as you can tell, I don't have like huge increases um, each month, but it still adds up in the end. So that's really good. So car insurance is next, and we had 95 in there, um, 95 at the beginning of the month, and let's see. Now we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 125. So 125 there. So that one went up by $30. Okay, next up is clothes. And that is just anytime we need new clothes or shoes. Um, we had 16 at the beginning, and now we have 20, 25, 30, 35. So that one went up 19. Okay, next up is school. Um, that is just for my kids' books for school and then um, for my husband's like college classes. So um, we have 44 at the beginning and now we have 20, 40, 61. And I probably will end up having to put some money with this because um, my kids are going to take some classes. Um, this fall so and I haven't really budgeted for that so next up is phones um, we had 39 at the beginning of the month and now we have 20 40 45 50 51 so that one went up by 10 11 12 dollars okay next up is activities that is just for any kind of um, sports or anything that my kids end up playing. We had 28 at the beginning of the month. Now we have 25, 30, 35, 36. So 36. So that went up by $8. Okay, next up is birthdays. Um, at the beginning of the month, we had $30. And let's see what we have now. So we have 20, 25, 30, whoops, 35, 36. So 36 in birthdays. 
Okay, next up is hair. Um, so at the beginning we had 31 and now we have zero. Um, that envelope, um, I'm hoping to get it to like $100, but I got a haircut and both my daughters got a haircut. Um, so it took all that money and we had to put a little bit of extra with it. It was $60 uh, for all three of us, but um, we probably won't get another haircut for probably till next summer. So, so that was money well spent. We were happy with that. Um, next up is Dollywood. That was another um, new envelope um, that we added in this month. So let's see, did I write that one on here? Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, so it had zero at the beginning of the month. I did add some money to that, but when we went to Dollywood a couple times, um, we did end up spending that. So we are back down to zero. So there's no change there. Okay, so next up is gonna be our low priority sinking funds. That is um, the binder we use for our Friday night game night. So let's see here. Oh, and this is, I gotta get another another um, envelope for this. This Donna Joe actually pointed out that I had one of the star notes. Um, so basically what that is, is their dollar bills um, and on the serial number, they'll have like a star at the end and they are worth a little bit more money. So people usually um, save those rather than spending them. So I can't remember um, which one of these envelopes that it came out of. I'll have to go back and look. Um, but I know I was looking through these and there was another one in there. So if you guys see it while I'm counting, um, point it out and let me know which one it is. And I'm gonna get an envelope and just put the star notes in there. Okay, so first up here is vacation. Now at the beginning of the month, it had $30 and now it's empty. I had not planned on spending that money um, while my husband was off work. We were kind of saving it for like a bigger vacation sometime down the road. Um, but we ended up overspending a little bit, so we did pull that money out to spend. So next up is pool. And at the beginning of the month, we had 19 in there. And now we have 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So 25 in there. Okay, next up is land. And it had $30 at the beginning of the month. And we now have 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. 34. All right. Okay, next up is our meat stock up. So at the beginning of the month, we had $33 in it. And now we have 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. So 37 in there. Okay, next up is lawnmower. And that one Okay, and at the beginning of the month, Let's see, it had 26, and now it has 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40. So that one went up by quite a bit. So $40 in there. gotta get my sticker fixed it's peeled off okay so next up is giving and we had 13 at the beginning of the month and now we have 20 21 22 23 24 25 so 25 in giving so that one got a lot as well that's what $12 okay oh car tags I don't think I added this one on here I made this list, I was like actually in the car and I don't think I added that one in, so I'm just gonna add it at the bottom. 
car tags and it's a new one so it didn't have anything at the beginning of the month um, so let's see what it has now so this one has one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen so that one actually got um, quite a bit also um, so we'll add 13 over here um, so that one's yeah that one started out with zero and then it got up to 13 so that's really good for one month um, we're trying to get this one to 360 um, we do have we have three cars um, and two of them are like 150 each to get the tags and then the other one our other car is older um, so it's only $60 so next is appliances um, that is another one we added in just this month so it started at zero and now it has one two three four five six seven eight nine so that one actually got quite a bit also so nine dollars for that one okay, and now we can flip over this other page make sure you guys can still see that okay okay so next is gonna be furniture and it had zero and it's a new one that we just added in so it now has one two three dollars in there okay so next up is a remodel and it's another new one that we just added in so it started with zero and it now has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven dollars there. Okay. Next up is electric. Um, and that is our newest one. It got added a little later than um, some of these other ones. So it started at zero and it now has one, two, three. And I'm just saving this up to get a month ahead on that bill and once I fully fund something else I'll add in another another bill probably either internet or cell phones will be the next one that gets added in okay, so that's all for that binder and then we'll go through our saving challenges and hopefully this video isn't taking forever I kind of feel like that it's a little long so sorry about that Okay, so I'm just going to pull those out because it's hard to see with that binder. Okay, so first up is our 52-week savings challenge. We started the month at $231, and we now have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 300. So that one went up quite a bit and I don't even think that I stuffed these every week. Um, so that's really good. Next up is our Christmas envelope. We started the month at 325. We now have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400. So 400 there. That went up by $75. Next up is our 26 week challenge. Started the month out at $28. And we now have 20, 40, 45, 50, 55. So 55 there. Okay, next up is gonna be, let's see, our 100 Honeys Challenge. So we started the month at 14. And we now have 20, 25, 30. And that's not like a super high priority for me. I just kind of stuff cash in there when I have extra for the week. So next up is our penny challenge. And um, we started at 18. We now have 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. 
34. So again, that's another one that is not super high priority. Okay, so we'll go through real quick and add everything up and we will wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for um, sticking with me through the entire video. I know it kind of ended up being a little longer than I planned, um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed. Okay, so let's see here. All right, so we're gonna go through and add up each of these amounts. So we have 530 plus 529 plus 519 plus 505 plus 245. And I'm gonna go ahead and total that up. Um, so 2328. And then I'll keep adding because I think I run out of, of how many numbers I can put in on here. So 280, 125, 35, um, 103, 61, plus 51, plus 54, plus 36, um, plus 25, plus 36, plus 34, plus 37, plus 40, plus 25, plus nine, so 32.79 so far, 32.79, we'll flip over here, plus three, plus seven, plus three, plus 300, plus 400, plus 55, plus 30, plus 34, plus 13. So 4,124, so 4,124. Okay, so let's see how much we saved from last time. So 4,124 minus 3,694 equals 430. So that's still a pretty good savings, um, especially since there was a week. I can't remember if there, there may have been two weeks. I don't know. I know there was at least one week where we didn't stuff these. Um, so I think that's great. So 430 in the plus, and we did pull out of some of those envelopes also. So, so definitely, definitely a good amount of savings for the month. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching my video. If you're new here um, and you enjoyed the content, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys next time. Bye.